This is the most important video which will teach you how to write and solve percent equations. Now we'll do step by step. First we'll do word to word translation and then we'll translate the whole sentence, English sentence, into mathematical language, right? So let's first read all these questions. Question number one is, what is 15% of 62? Number B is, 32 is what percent of 72? And C is, 16 is 40% of what number? These are the three questions which actually cover 75% of the problems which you are going to encounter relating to percent, right? Now I'll teach you all the three or the variety which you are going to be exposed to in this video. So the common words here is what is, all these are common words. The positions may be different. For example, what, right? So the word what is in all of them, correct? Now let's look into the next word which is is, right? What is. And then we have numbers, right? So I'm just using different things. These are the numbers with percent, right? Now here we have percent and here we have percent in words, correct? But it's kind of the same number. And then we have a word which is saying off. Now what does that off means? So off is here, off is here, and we have off here also. And then again we have a number, right? So we have one more number there. So let me say that this number is like 62, 72, 16. So these are the numbers. Now let us see. So basically that covers everything in a sentence, right? So if I could translate each and every word into mathematical language, it becomes very simple for me to translate the whole sentence, right? That's like grammar of mathematics. Let's go through it, right? So let's write down these words one by one and then see the translation. First word is what. What, that is something which we don't know. And whatever we don't know in mathematics, we define this to be a variable. So that goes as a variable x, right? So that is my translation of what. What means what you want to find, right? I don't know. Let it be x. So that is the answer and that is how we get we get this number what I don't know so let it be x so it is a variable for us the next one is what is right what is is in mathematics is always translated as equal to right so we will write that as equal to so what is 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 equal to correct the next word is 15 percent right so 15%, let me write this in general. Sometimes we are using 40%, 30%, I'll write P percent, okay? P percent. So it could be any number, right? So if it is 15, write 15 for P. That is what I'm trying to say. For that, we have a very simple thing. Percent is seen as a fraction, something over 100. So it is P over 100. That is the meaning of percent. Now whenever I will say of, so off means multiplication for us. So whenever we're trying to say off, we say, well, just multiply it, right? So it just adds on repeatedly. So off means multiplication. And then we have numbers, right? So let me just use this symbol for number, right? Numbers are same in each and every language, correct? So if I write two, you understand it as two in every language. So that is what numbers are. So that is my symbol for numbers, right? So let me write here numbers. So I hope with this we are able to translate all the equations. Now let us do literal translation and see do we get something meaningful? Let's do it. So we'll do one by one. So as I'm putting these arrows, I'd like you to copy the sentence and then write your translation into mathematics. So what means x? So I'm writing what is x? Is means equal to fine. 15% is P is 15 for me. So it is 15 over 100, right? Off means times. I'm putting a dot here. So that means we put a dot here most of the time so that we don't get confused between the variable X and this X for operator, correct? So that's an operator multiplication, okay? And 62 is a number, so number as such. You get it. 
x equals to 15 over 100 times 62. Now use your calculator, find the answer and you have your answer right there. Do you see that? Go through it once again and enjoy the process of translating English into mathematics. That is mathematical equation, okay? Let's do one more just to gain confidence, okay? So this time I'm just drawing the arrows, giving you time to write your own equation. What is, I mean 32 is what percent? So what percent is something unknown which I'm saying arrow of and 32 is the number, 72 is the number. So let's write it down. What do we get? We get here 32 is means equal to what percent? We don't know. We don't know that P. So we'll write P percent. Okay. In this case, we'll write P percent. P over 100 of means multiplication. 72 is the number which should be written as a number in every language. Got it. That is the equation which gives you the answer. Do you get it? Next one is, let's do it again, 16 is the number, is equal to 40 percent is 40 over 100, of is a multiplication sign, what number? So this time we are asking about what number, we don't know, we'll put x for it. Okay, let's write down. So we get 16 equals to 40 percent means over 100, of means multiplication, what number? We don't know, x. You get it. So these are the three equations which deals with 75% of your problems on percent. They are so easy to solve now. Use your calculator, get your answer. That is how you should be doing it, correct? But the important thing here is, now with these five key words, you can translate every question relating to percent into equation. Once you have an equation, they can be solved, right? Once you have an equation, they can be solved. So I have so many videos on solving equations. You can go through them and then solve if you have a problem. But some of them are straightforward. Let's try to solve them. x equals to 15 over 100 times 62. Pick up your calculator and do the needful, right? So we have 15 divided by 100 times 62 equals to some fraction which I'm converting and gives me 9.3. So we get here x equals to 9.3. Do you get it? 32 equals to p percent of 72. You need to rearrange this. How do we rearrange? Understand cross multiplication technique, right? So if you understand cross multiplication, you'll be able to rearrange. Let me do it for you now. p you want to find, so we'll say p equals to what? So 32 is on the other side, yes. Cross multiply means if it is in the denominator, take it to the numerator. That means times it with 100. If it is a numerator, take it to denominator, right? So over 72, and that's what you get. So you multiply 32 by 100, and then you divide it by 72 to get your answer, which is 44.44. Do you understand? Repeating. That is what you get. Now here, we'll again use cross multiply. And then write down our answer. 16 equals to 40 over 100 times x. In that case, what is x equals to? So 100 is in the denominator. Cross multiply, take it to numerator. 16 times 100 and 40 goes into denominator, divide by 40. So you can do 16 times 100 divided by 40 equals to 40. That is what you get and that is the answer for the next question. So I think by doing this you can do both the things that is write your equation and solving percent equations. That should be excellent. Wow! I hope that gives you satisfaction. Go through this video once again and then do rest of the questions in my playlist. It should be just a simple walk for you. Thank you and I hope you are enjoying this journey. All the best.